14. Um, we have a great program tonight, and so if we would rise, we will observe a moment of silence. Our moment of silence this evening is going to be um, related to conflict. Uh, we have uh, quite a lot of conflict in our nation, um, in our region, in our world. So if you would please rise and observe a moment of silence for the resolution of conflict. Check out your email. 
Michelle Mon will be here though on the 13th of August. So we're pretty excited about that. Everybody will get a chance to see and meet her. It's a public event. It's not a private event where you gotta give $100 to come. Public, everybody's welcome. Um, we had a voter registration at 100 Black Men Barbecue. Um, we had the opportunity to talk to people about how important it is to have their voter registration up to date on their address so that they're not stuck taking a provisional ballot where not only the top of the ballot counts for them, um, and talk to them about how important it is to turn off their friends and family, that every single person needs to vote. We ended up with stupid Nathan, let's make a deal. Um, because we didn't turn out in 2010, we need every single person yeah, that we right. know to turn out. Yeah. So, it was a great day. We talked to a lot of people. Um, maybe we'll get a new vote. Our, our topic tonight is transportation planning, and we have a really super opportunity right in front of you at your table. If you're not at a table with paper on it, you need to move up all of you in the back. Please move up here to the front to tables that have papers on them. Join your friends. Uh, Corey Hall from the Metropolitan Planning Organization is going to lead us in an interactive planning thing. Corey. Thank you, Gretchen. Yeah. Please come up here and sit. We got a whole table over here. There's a spot for the a couple of words, please. Yeah, come sit with me. Uh, there's spots up here. Um, because if you don't, you won't have a chance to have your voice heard. This is your chance for public input. So you need to come up here. Uh, and I forgot my paint my notes, so I'm gonna have to read them off my phone. That thank you to technology, I'm actually able to do that. So, so uh, what we're talking about though tonight is our 2040 transportation plan. Five years, the Metropolitan Planning Organization uh, here in the Miles County of is required by federal law to update its transportation plan. Uh, so what we're beginning right now is to ask the public what transportation projects do you want to see? What are your priorities in this uh, To give you a recap of our 2035 transportation plan, which we completed five years ago, some of the projects that we completed in the last five years have been the Tucker Road Bridge um, on the south side of Alvasta. Uh, that was a project that GDOT did in conjunction with the city, um, replacing that bridge. The Davidson Road um, intersection improvement, that's the new entrance into Moody Air Force Base on the south side of the base up there. That was a Lowndes County and GDOT and Air Force Base joint project. The intersection improvement at St. Augustine Road and Twin Street out by exit 18. The Gorto Road extension. Um, between Oak and Patterson. Thousands of people use that extension every day uh, now. I do. <laughs> so um, it's actually changed the traffic flow on that side of town. Um, State Road 31 bridge over the Wittlacoochee River. How many knew that that was, bridge was being replaced? I did. <laughs> Everybody else, you gotta go to Florida and see that. <laughs> They're actually building a new bridge down there uh, higher and longer over the river down there. Another big project that's a long way is the Highway 84 overpass right downtown here. That's another project on our plan. And the last I heard is three months ahead of schedule, so they're looking at a September, October opening time frame. So that's, that's good news. Cat Creek Road Bridge up um, in North Miles County. That, I've not been up there. I don't know if it's open. To, yes. It, it is open? Okay. Yes. Um, they will come back this summer. Um, while school was out. Um, other, another improvement has been the exit 18 southbound ramp improvements. But other projects we got going in the pipeline are the replacements of exit 22, exit 29, exit 11, and exit 2. Over the next four years, all of those interchanges will be under construction in Lowndes County, with complete reconstruction and redesign of those interchanges. And that's, that means over $100 million in federal and state and local transportation funds in Lowndes County being implemented just on those four projects over the next four years. So that's kind of what we've been doing, but tonight we're asking where are we going in the future? Uh, one of the things that we've looked at is where are we going to be at in the year 2040? Um, Lowndes County's population is going to be 149,000. Uh, we're right now at 112, 113. 
We're going to employ 76,000 people in Lowndes County. Right now we're about 54,000. Uh, in Lowndes County, our educational attainment for the people with just a high school level education will be 32,000. They'll be a graduate of high school or less. Right now that's about 29,000. So that's, that's a good thing that we don't see a lot of increase. 64,000 will have at least a bachelor's degree. Uh, I, sorry, I don't remember what the current number is on that. Um, but some other trends for us to be on where we're at. 68% of the housing units in Valdosta will be rental housing units in the year 2040. That is a big change from where we're at. Right now we're around 50%. Um, Why is that? We're, I am not specifically sure why that is a why that's changing, but that is the trajectory that we're on. Are you taking questions? Uh, we can, yeah. Okay. Because someone had asked you a question, and I was unable to give them an answer. Uh -huh. And that question was on this hundred ninety million dollars, whatever it is. Uh, what is the percentage of minorities that? Because there are not many minorities that are hitting in on this. Lou's asking about on the hundred million dollars in projects that we're going to be implementing over four years, uh, the opportunities for minority contractors on those projects. Uh, those are all GDOT projects, and they have um, a process that they go through to hire any contractor. Uh, and GDOT has actually been working with uh, local contractors here to get them qualified and signed up. Uh, so I can speak with you more detail about that, but they're, they're trying to get more and more participation. Uh, so what is considered a rental unit? 58,000 rental housing units? Not 58%. 58%. No, it, it's around 50% now going to 68% in the year 2020. Total Yeah, total units, whether that's a single family house or a 500 unit apartment building, yeah. It's just like units. Um, unemployment, they're projecting um, from our study about 7.7% .7 in um, the year 2040. 65% of our jobs will be service-based, 6% will be manufacturing, and 25% will be retail. Uh, so this is a study that you can actually look at in a whole lot more detail on our website. Um, and you have information on your tables with our website address on it. But it looked at all sorts of social and economic uh, demographics for our community, where we're going to be in the year 2040. Those are some things to think about as to where we're going to be at. The other thing we've done over the last year is look at a create and develop a common community vision. I just want to ask one question yeah. about these figures, how they came about, where you got these figures from. Are these just extrapolations of current trends that you use? There are various methods, and we have a report on our website. We actually hired a firm to develop these uh, projections for us. Um, so there's specific details in that report um, for the different uh, methodologies that they use, but um, that report does go into detail on that. So. Um, we developed a common community vision in partnership with Lowndes County and Valdosta. And on your tables, you have uh, a sheet that has what our common community vision is a resilient community for partnerships and coordination to promote regional success in economic development, education, infrastructure and a high quality of life. This is an effort that was developed for um, all of our development organizations to use and to strive to achieve. You also have on your sheets, on your tables, 18 goals that came out of our common community vision process. Now, how many, how many of you came to one of our common community vision meetings? I, you may come to the this uh, party Meeting last, last year. year at this month. This month, okay. Yeah. A year ago we did this. All right. So if we're here last month or last year participated. But we had a couple other public meetings as well. 
we had over 800 comments and statements that we reviewed from the public about what they wanted to see in our community. And that turned into 18 goal statements, aspirational goal statements. And the thing is, we got 18 goal statements, some ranging from education, economic development, um, housing issues, land use issues, arts and cultural issues. Well, one of the things we need to know is, what are your priorities? Right now, we just have these 18 goals. They're all number one priority, and they all are for different people. But what are your priorities? What are the overall community's priorities? Tonight, I want to take a few minutes, and this is where we're start getting the interactive part. Um, actually, I got Todd, we're using these, right? The stars? OK. Um, each of you have stars on your table. Um, they're not all gold, they're different colors. We've, you're too cheap to buy the all gold. <laughs> but uh, what we want to do is have you vote. Uh, oh, you've got your sheet right there. No, the group, the table has one gold sheet. What we'd like you to do is take these gold, these stars, and place five stars by those golds that you see on that sheet. So if your housing goals are important, um, or your transportation goals are important, go ahead and vote for those. Thank you. So take a few minutes, read through some of those. Sorry. Then you have five. Uh, uh, so use them wisely. Guys? If you want to vote all five so on one goal, put, that's fine. It's individual decision, but it's a group. Everybody's putting on one sheet. Okay. All right, let's see each question. You want to put yours on that So you can, everybody can do this individually. There's one that may be about infrastructure in there. And it's infrastructure and utilities. Provide and maintain efficient quality public utility infrastructure, that one? That could that be. That's the internet? And if you want to add a comment to it, write a comment on there. Put, 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 put internet. Internet. <laughs> internet. And then I'll put my stuff in. That's true. I'll use the gold stuff. No, I spelled it. No, no, no. Each person does.
Oh, yes. Yeah. We had a busing system. I wouldn't even drive. I know. I, I never. Okay, we're going to get you one more minute. To what the hell? Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> oh, I should have done the health care one. That's why I wanted to make it like Parmesan. You guys can continue to read and discuss and make uh, your own. You know, she lived in a park in Thomasville that had a solar panel. On our website and at the bottom of the page, that's where I was talking to my family. You've got to be louder. We're all talking. I'm sorry. On this page, you have a, a web address for the Common Community Mission document. It's a 20 or 30 page document that goes over in detail all of these goals and aspirational statements. Um, there's actually objectives, mission statements that have been developed, all kinds of stuff. That is way more detail than we have here tonight. Um, so you can go and look at that later um, if you would like. One of the next things that we want to talk about, though, is money. Um, that's a question everybody wants to talk about. Um, and to do a, tra a transportation plan, you've got to know how much money we have to put into our transportation project. Hey, I'm right here. One of the things we can look at is how much money we spent historically on transportation projects in our community. And we came up with a total of somewhere between 1.13 billion and 1.15 billion dollars to spend over the next 25 years on transportation projects. That works out to be about 54 of oh, about 380 million dollars for new highway projects. If we use our historical trend that we've been how we've been spending money in the past, 54 to 50. I'm sorry, 50 to 54 percent of which is federally funded. 13% are state funds, the rest are local funds by our city and county government. Most, mostly SLOS taxes. $581 million over the next 25 years for highway maintenance. $20 million over the next 25 years for our rural. Are we supposed to be remembering all of this? No, no, no you're not. You're not supposed to remember too, any of this. Too much. I'm trying, to give you, I'm trying to give you some ideas because you're actually going to change this. Okay. So, just give me a minute. Twenty million dollars for rural public transit. That's the the mid transit system you see um, on the street right now. Mid <laughs> We're proposing seventy three million dollars for an urban transit system in Valdosta and Lowndes County. Thirty six million of that is from un unidentified sources. You got to find a funding source for that. All total, we have one point. 1.3 to 1.15 billion, depending on which inflation rate we use and which calculation rate we use. We'll be discussing that with our local elected officials more to narrow it down to a specific number in total that we'll have um, over our next 25 years. But to help them make that decision, we need your input tonight on the sheets right here. It looks like this. It's the one with four big squares on it. What we will have given you are little red stickers. I know that you guys, you guys you need to use your red stickers. Each dot, you have 11 red stickers. 
That's a hundred million dollars on each red sticker. If you want to allocate all one, uh, one billion, one hundred million dollars to public transit, you can. If you want to out allocate it all to maintenance, you can. Or if you want to mix it up and vote it in four separate ways, you can do that. I have a question. <clears throat> yes. Roads and bridges, how are roads and bridges different from maintenance? Roads and bridges are new facilities. New. So the bridge over the Withlacoochee is maintenance or new? <coughs> it is technically a new project. Okay, the bridge over the 84 is oh, a new project. New project. When you're, or a road widening is a new project. But maintaining your potholes or resurfacing a road, that Cat is Creek, more maintenance. Cad Creek Bridge. That is a new project. The way really? we're classifying it. The way we're classifying it. Now, really? a local government may put it in really? another funding it's category. <laughs> it just depends on how it's classified. So. Okay. Well, unfortunately, um, new projects would also include that new job of the county walls for widening all the way towards the five lanes past mile road. That, that would be classified as a new, new project. project. So yes. don't put any money in new projects. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're asking you guys to do is take your 11 red stickers and put them on how you want to divide up this money, how you want to spend $1 billion, $100 million in those categories. Now, we only gave you four categories. Roads and bridges, which are your white nature, new bridge projects, maintenance, like I said, is your maintaining um, of facilities, public transit, that can be rural public transit, urban public transit, public transit in general, or bicycle and pedestrian projects, bike lanes, sidewalks, trails, things like that. Yes. Um, I know you just gave us all those numbers. Could you just give us like a rough percentage of where we're at right now with all this so we kind of have an yes. idea of what we're doing compared to <laughs> Yes. Right now, on the roads and bridges area, about half of our available money goes to maintenance. So half of the money, about 1.1 billion right now, goes to maintenance. Public transit gets about 100 million. Bicycle and pedestrian is getting probably under 20 million a year, or, or 20 million total. Um, and, may, um, and roads and bridges is everything else. Roads and bridges is getting six to seven hundred million. Over here first. And we have another question over here. Yeah, regarding to public what was the number there? What the objective? Right now we're projecting twenty million dollars for the rural system that we have. An additional 70 million to start the urban system. And that's spread out over 25 years. No, this is to indicate how you would want, the red dots indicate how you would want to spread out that money. How, if you want to change how we're currently spending our money in Miles County, Alaska, this is how you would, you're voting to show that. Everybody gets two and then it's crazy and gets the rest. <laughs> 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 and this is all of your time to respond to another group so we go and talk to them. We're trying to get as much input as we can from the entire community. So each person should be voting on their sheets of paper as to how you want to divide up this money. And so far, we're being quite equitable. So the way it looks, so. Equitable. Yeah, you will, everybody sees this. Overall, across the board. Oh, except for my camera. It's a tough choice to try to figure out where you're going to put all those funds. Where are we going to put all those funds? You're mine. While you're busy, you think about that. I want you to take out the map. Everybody should have a map. If you don't have a map, bring your hand. We'll bring a map to you. 
Oh, we have every, every, every single person should Every have single person should have, have a map. So raise your hand if you don't. Todd, I think I don't live on the map. Oh, I live on the map on the back. Yeah, you don't No, I don't live on the map. It doesn't include my own. We have the but it does not have a organizations have to work together so it's not necessarily one goal for every little thing we can, sometimes we have to work, work across across the lines so that's why you don't necessarily see some of those goals we all have to work together economic development education housing transportation etc on the maps um, we want to know where you think the projects should be so we've provided you with some colored pens um, we specifically chose colors that would show up on the map. Uh, we prefer to use a color pen rather than a black pen. Um, but we want you to draw where you think projects should be. If you need to add a comment, add a comment. So there's a spot here with your name and phone number. If we, have, if we have to follow up with you, we can follow up with you if we have to. On one side of the map, you have all of Lowndes County. On the back side, you have the hospital or vice versa, however you pick it up. So what I want to take a few minutes for you to put down the project you think you should implement. If, the, if it's maybe a transit system you want to implement, it's hard to show where your transit system goes, just write a comment on the side. Say, we want a transit system in this part of town, or we want a transit system in all of the town. Whatever you want, write a comment. Right. Who would you draw on the map? What, where do you want things? What kind of projects do you want to see? In your survey, we know we were listening to what we said. Yes. Yes. No. We want, we want your input um, regardless of the size of the project, regardless of how small it is. We want to get your input to know how to, how to implement our transportation plan. Store. 
Okay, Patterson. Okay, Monta needs to have four or five stops all on the zone. G R O N C O.